Hi and welcome to Spice and Pants. Today we'll be cooking Hainanese style chap chai or mixed vegetable. So let's start cooking. We'll add some of this cabbage onto the rice. More vegetable is always good. Now we are going to cook the chop chai or mixed vegetables. Heat up a pan, add in a little bit of oil. This mixed vegetable that I'm doing is basically a Hainanese version. If you go to any Hainanese curry store, this is the way they cook their chop chai. So once the pan is heated up, add in six cloves of garlic chopped. We love garlic, that's why I'm putting in quite a fair bit of it. Fifteen grams of dried shrimp, which I've soaked and softened. You just need to soak them for approximately 10-15 minutes. Four pieces of dried mushroom, which I've rehydrated and sliced them thinly like this. I'm frying this over medium-low heat because I want the fragrance to be out and yet not burn the garlic. It smells really good. So once you can smell the aroma, we will add in the cabbage. This is 320 grams of raw cabbage. 100 grams of carrot sliced thinly. The water that we use to soak the mushroom as well as the dry shrimp, don't pour them away. We are going to use them for this dish. This is one cup of water from soaking up the dry shrimps. Okay. And two cups of water from the Soaking off the dried mushroom. This is going to be so good. Even if you are not cooking Hainanese curry rice, you can actually cook this dish on its own and it goes fantastic with steamed rice. We are now adding 1 tablespoon of concentrated chicken stock. If you do not have concentrated chicken stock at home, no problem. You can substitute it with chicken powder. Just 1 teaspoon or 1 and half teaspoon will be good enough. Now we're adding the binker skin. These are fried binker skin, 50 grams of it. Put it in. We are going to slow braise this and let this really soften up because when we eat Hainanese curry rice, the cabbage is actually very, very soft and very, very tasty. Braise this over low heat for 15 minutes and we'll check how soft the vegetables are. I'll see you back in a while. 15 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Oh, smells really good. Now we can serve this right now, but I prefer my cabbage to be even softer. So I'm going to braise this for another 15 minutes. We've been bracing the cabbage for a total of 30 minutes. Let's have a look. Wow, smells really, really fantastic. This is the kind of softness that we want from the cabbage. We are now adding 50 grams of bean vermicelli, which I've already soaked. Okay, for about 10-15 minutes. So you just put it in. Just stir them in and fry them for approximately 2 or 3 minutes. It's pretty fast. Before we serve this, let's just give this a taste. Wow, really, really good. We just need to add in a little bit of salt and sugar just to balance up the taste. Half a teaspoon of salt and one quarter of a teaspoon of sugar. Turn the heat up to medium now. Just stir in. Okay, now we can serve this dish now. I hope you found our dish easy. Do try it at home and let us know what you think. Please click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.